know, as Trevor would say, low budge. But I'm in a bit of a rush. Just getting from work, and in about 40 minutes, I'm off to go see Spamalot in the theatre with my family. So there's possibly two themes to go with this week, but no majority decision has been made. So as the Monday, I am making the decision now. And I've decided to go with the theme, which I think is a little bit more fun, and what you lot will be able to get more from, I think. And that theme is... Disney! Could I have got any more high-pitched? As somebody who grew up in the 1990s, I was one of those who grew up with all these cartoon films. Not these new animated ones like Monsters Inc. or Bugs Like. You can tell how old I'm talking here because we've got even more new ones, haven't we? Like, Mischief? Is it Mischief Me? Mischievous Me? Something like that. Monsters vs. Aliens, etc, etc. But you can't beat a Disney classic. Everything from Snow White, to Cinderella, to Sleeping Beauty, to Aladdin, to Lion King, to Beauty and the Beast, to Peter Pan. They all hold a great place in our heart. And my favourite Disney film was always Aladdin, probably because he was like the only real male lead. Okay, there was Peter Pan, but he was a kid. Every other Disney film was about princesses. You think Disney was all about girls. Whereas Aladdin was always about getting the girl and coming out of poverty and rags to riches. And you gotta love the genie. The genie was the best bit. Robin Williams, let's scratch the second one where it's not Robin Williams but the voice of Homer Simpson has gotta make Aladdin. Him doing the voice of the genie was just the best. A Friend Like Me has gotta be the best song Disney's ever produced, I think, animated wise anyway. Okay, The Circle of Life and Akuna Matata and quite a few of the Lion King ones are amazing too, but still. But some of how the Disney films tend to focus on princesses and females. It's interesting when you look at the morals that are sort of broken in Disney films. I was having this discussion with some people in work today and it is quite interesting when you think about it. Snow White narrowly escapes being murdered and ends up living with seven men. Cinderella has to go through slave labour at the hands of her evil stepmother and then runs away from home. That's not very good morals for a kid. And as Janet Marbles put it, there's some weird thing going on in Beauty and the Beast with Belle and Beast. It's sort of putting forward the whole thing of bestiality and it's... Eh? Though I love Aladdin, in all essence, he kidnaps the princess. Lion King's based on Hamlet, in which Hamlet's uncle commits his father so he can become king. I don't think anybody's looked at their uncle in the same way since, like, Don't kill my daddy! What the fuck? So, when you delve deep into Disney films, it's quite weird what conclusions you can come to and what realisations there are about them. Anyone going to finish filming now as I'm going to have to put this all together in 20 minutes and it's not going to look very good, so until next time guys, bye!